Hi everyone, welcome. As you can see, the theme of the day is Neem. What's the, the theme? It's not Reem. That's supposed to say Neem. The theme is Neem. <laughs> because Neem is the approach that we decided to try in order to see if we could somehow, maybe, <laughs> reduce the number of um, little crawling white insects in here. I guess they've been thought to be springtails. Whether or not they're actually springtails, I do not know. And I'm still talking about them in the present tense to say I, if they are or if they were. It would be kind of nice to think of it as something that was in the past and only will be in the past. <laughs> but I've got a feeling that it's not going to be um, kind of a one-shot deal. So right away I'm already starting to see some of our little guests, these tiny little white insects that you see all over the place. I assume that they're springtails. I've been calling them that for many check-ins now and not been corrected. So I think that I've identified them correctly. But then again, I'm just assuming. I'm not an expert. <laughs> um, so, you know, I think previously too, what we really tried to do was to get a sense of how many springtails are actually in here by just disrupting the material a little bit because they're usually just right beneath the surface. So you stir up the stuff you um you reveal some materials that probably have a whole lot more insect activity on them than just the surface so i'm just going to do that really quickly to see if we can compare this to the last check-in i think it looks pretty similar to me as if I might have spotted a cocoon over here so I wanted to see if I can get a closer look at it, it does look like a cocoon and I thought I saw another one over here too right beneath the leaf Wonder if we can get that up here too oops well maybe now they're in the same spot because I dropped the other one <laughs> and I'm sure there's other ones too and um, you know I can't remember now Maybe like a deeper stir would even give us more visibility into the insect situation here. Seems that way. Well, last time, I think I liked what we did last time, which was just to try to at least stir this material up out on this edge. And while doing so, trying to stack it a little bit higher up to the edge of the container, to the rim. And as we do that, the hope is that we can further nudge the contents of this container over more this way. The stuff out on this end is what was um, pretty much already finished castings when it was put in here after we relocated the worms from a smaller container that they used to live in. Whoa, look at that. Into what they live in now. A slightly um, larger container. So all the stuff that they had been living in in their previous home was placed on this side and this was all fresh brand new bedding and ever since then you know for the past 134 days more than half the life of the system at this point we've been you know just gradually um taking everything that appears to be mainly finished castings at this point and trying to keep move it this way stacking it up higher if possible <laughs> so it takes up less space horizontally and I guess the other nice thing about this is that we can inspect the material and we also now did reveal at least one spot where there's a whole lot more insect activity beneath the surface. Look at that too, just breaking that stuff up there. So whether whether or not this neem works or not, I don't know. I wasn't going to try to put any um, assumptions out there or expectations really, I guess. So that maybe if um, it didn't play out that way, I'd feel disappointed or like it was failed. Maybe it's a maybe it's just a long-term thing, you know, that gradually gets rid of them. So maybe it is time to start applying this stuff before we treat any section of this as done. I took some of that stuff that I had yet, um, last time just soaked on on um onto a coffee filter, and then I kind of rubbed it around after the coffee filter was soaked with the neem seed oil. I was kind of very gently applying it 
It feels to me like putting it in the squirt bottle here um, will get a much greater quantity of it out. So in a way I thought that this would be one um, at least minor improvement to how we did things last time. Except um, I really didn't put too much in here. I can see another cocoon right there, another cocoon right there, and another one right there. Wow, okay, that's kind of cool. At this point, I don't know if I've just bumped into the same exact ones we saw previously, but that seems very unlikely. <laughs> so, I didn't put a whole lot in here. I just rented space in my typical um, spray bottle to be able to apply some of that stuff squirt style. Maybe I should just keep this thing in my hand and give every every insect sighting a, a little fair share at this stuff and I guess um just really quick as a preface to what we're going to be doing which is basically a repeat of the feeding they got last time basically no juicy fruits no veggies no nothing interesting the only stuff they're going to get today just like the last feeding is coffee <laughs> plus a whole bunch of that neem cake the stuff in that green and black bag it's stuff that um, the worms like to eat, but hopefully has a negative effect on the insects and reduces their numbers, or be actually kind of nice to just see them all vanish entirely. So I'm just at this point trying to draw some conclusions as to what I've seen so far, at least in terms of comparing the, the sheer amount of insects. I don't know if I've seen much, if any, of an improvement in terms of reducing their numbers. So down here it looks like this is probably just leftover coffee. It's a little bit brown in color, not like the surrounding castings. So maybe if it is leftovers, the good idea here would be to try to blend it in with some of this surrounding nicely aged bedding material. Then again, we did put a pretty good amount of neem cake down into the coffee last time. And then we did try to stir it around a little bit, but I could see little pockets of that stuff possibly still remaining. Because it is not a sort of thing that I feed very often, but um, to see it... Okay, smell it maybe is the right way to think about it. <laughs> I just caught a whiff of some strong stuff, and the neem seed meal, the neem cake, does have a kind of pungent, interesting odor to it. I've heard various people describe it various ways, and I'm not sure any of them really describes it properly. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> You're welcome to provide your thoughts on that topic down in the, in the comments. So I think at this point we're going to switch over to the actual neem seed meal. We've been a giving a pretty generous amount of the that um, the oil but I think it's time to switch over to that that other stuff so last time too all we did was we um, laid down a few pieces of coffee filter on which we prepared their nice little coffee slash neem treat so we'll just do the same thing here we'll plop all the coffee in on top of these nifty placemats and on these placemats, I think we can do the um, the preparation of their delicious food. So I figured a little bit of worm chow, and then maybe even an equal quantity of neem seed meal. Although maybe I should go a little bit lighter. Maybe what we saw was in fact leftovers, and maybe putting in a lot is not necessary. So maybe we'll just go a little bit more conservative on how much of the neem seed meal we're um, putting in here. Maybe just a little bit more, a little bit more of my worm chow, which I hope makes the coffee a little bit more appealing and interesting for the worms to come over and nibble on. And that's gonna be their feeding. I'm just debating on do we put more bedding in, maybe a handful or two of my prep bedding. I think that would be a good idea. Let me grab that really quick before we finish here. Then we'll be done. Okay, so like we did last time, I'm not using my gloved hand for this. Because <laughs> who knows how many of these little insects are cruising around on my glove. So I'm using my clean hand to 
grab into my supply of prepared bedding here, which is just a combination of shredded paper, shredded cardboard, leaves mixed in too. A lot of you might be wondering what that is. Yes, it is exactly what you think it is. <laughs> All right, um, we are pretty much there. The, um, the coffee filters in my feedings usually get saved to be placed out on top as sort of a top covering over the spot where we feed. And then we affectionately refer to that as our feeding zone indicator. Whether we really need a feeding zone indicator, I don't know. I don't really think we do, but I think we'll have no problem coming back here next time and figuring out where we last fed. So why don't we just leave it at that? We'll get this system covered up, let these little guys get back to work, and keep our fingers crossed for the neem seed meal. But you know what? One other thing we did last time, and I almost forgot something I wanted to replicate again in today's check-in was... Um, just a dusting of this stuff out across the top surface. And here we're being a little bit more generous. A little bit more generous than we were down in the coffee. Here is where I'm really trying to see if this stuff is going to help us whatsoever. I sure hope it does. <laughs> Maybe even a couple squirts of this stuff since I've got a little bit left in here. This, um, this neem seed oil is the stuff that was in that clean, um, the clear bottle with the incorrect label. And that stuff is supposedly cold pressed. My, um, my buddy gave me some of that stuff. The, the stuff in the pump, pump bottle, the other stuff that I showed earlier, that's not cold pressed as far as I know. And supposedly doesn't really do much as far as uh, reduction of insects. So I think cold pressed is the way to go if you're going to be using it as an insecticide, kind of a natural insecticide in your worm bins. Um, but as far as being an insecticide, it's really usually just treated as a fertilizer for your garden. So it's just a type of material that the certain insects supposedly don't like. So that's it for our check-in with the mixed red worms. Now, just a day over 35 weeks of age at 246 days of age. Oops, let's put the fancy, colorful um, <laughs> design out. All right, I got a few things I got to take care of getting cleaned up and put away. I'll take care of all that after I turn the camera off. Before I go, though, really quick, let me just say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, please don't forget to leave me a quick thumbs up before you go. It's always very much appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, please also sign up as a subscribe to the channel. That's very much appreciated as well. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.